الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as advice to the youth of today I wanted to share some important pieces of advice for the brothers and the sisters living in the West especially about adhering to their deen and we know we live in a time of great fitin and confusion and for the youth especially the the men and the the youngsters one of the biggest fitna for us is the women and this was the first fitna that befell Bene Israel it was the nisa the prophet sallallahu said in the dunya halawata khudra wa in Allah mustakhlifukum fi falyandur kayfa ta'amalun fataq dunya وَاتَّقُوا النِّسَاءَ فَإِنَّ أَوَلَ فِئْنَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ كَانَتْ فِي النِّسَاءَ رواه مسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said Verily the dunya, this worldly life is like a beautiful fruit or garden and verily Allah establishes you in it to see how you will do you know to see what you'll do we're tested then the prophet sallallahu said fataqu dunya so fear the dunya fataqu nisa and fear the women for verily the first fitna that befell the children of Israel was the women. Habitifillah, what we can benefit from this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the many benefits, especially being youth of today, is that first and foremost, there is the warning of being indulged and super engaged in the dunya in this worldly life because it's gonna flee, it's gonna pass. How many of us have seen our good friends and good brothers and sisters uh, pass from the youth and from the elders. And how many of us have witnessed people tried and losing to the dunya, losing to the worship of wealth and love and lusting after wealth. And likewise with that is the love and the lusting after women for us as men which is a great fitness. The Prophet Sallallahu warned us. And we know this even from Tatbik Amali, from the studies in this dunya that men on average think about relations. They say every, I don't know if it's 15 seconds or I, I can't remember what the statistics are. And I believe that this is true for the average man that their life is intertwined with the thought of women almost in constant motion and that this is a part of our fitra because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us the beauty of polygamy and the beauty of marriage and those halal avenues for dealing with that fitna and so for the youth it's absolutely important for them to at least consider and be in the thought process of marriage and thinking about those things which will help them in this life as well as the hereafter.
And that doesn't mean choosing hastily and choosing foolishly as far as a partner, but it means choosing wisely, compatible, compatib looking at compatibility, looking at those things that you want, your goals, have goals in this dunya. Because if you just float in this life, you just float from trial to trial without achieving anything. But if at least you have a goal, you're starting a business, you want to finish your university, you want to study in the level of ilm, and you're striving to do that, then you're going in a direction. So make sure your direction is halal. And make sure your direction is mufid, is beneficial. And beware the fitna. The fitna of just wanting to accumulate wealth and spending all of your time consumed by that. Your happiness and your sadness being related to that. And being... being consumed by the need of finding the opposite sex, being consumed by those things which are just going to test you in your man and distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's my first piece of advice. The second piece of advice is that Ahabati Fillah do everything you can to Tamasik bi Kitabilah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you do everything to adhere to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to do that you need Elm that requires knowledge that the way you're going to achieve that and attain or be able to adhere to the Sunnah and follow the prophetic advice where the Prophet Sallallahu said Alaykum bi Sunnati that is upon you my Sunnah and where he advised us to follow or commanded us to follow the Sunnah of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala loving them not to speak ill of them so this requires ilm and it requires traversing the path of ilm in some form or shape or another if you're unable to travel then seek knowledge on your computer. Seek knowledge because now it's there. Now there are durus. Now there is everything is available for us. So strive your utmost to atlab al and bring yourself closer to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet وسلم, said, Man salaka tariqan yal tamasahu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan ila al jannah that whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. And this is why the Salaf al Salih, some of the Salaf used to say, Talib al-Am, Talib al-Jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And so, seeking knowledge to lift the ignorance from yourself, is imperative for the mu'minun la'alukum tuflihun in order that you'll be successful and I think that is a sufficient small piece of advice we ask Allah the Almighty to guide our youth and to protect us and preserve us and bless us with ilm and nafi ruskan tayyib wa amal mutaqabbil and bless us with those things which Allah pleases us and righteous, beautiful spouses that will be a source of comfort for our eyes and our hearts and bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us with the halal and protect us from the haram and protect us from the fitna of the dunya with fitna to Messiah Dijjal. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم